Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash to open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon, on the breasts of the newly fallen snow, gave the lusher of midday to objects below, when, what to my wondering I should appear, but a miniature sleigh. An eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancher, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the couriers did fly, with the sleigh full of toys. And St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nick came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his toe, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked just like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the chin on his beard was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to give his team a whistle, and the way they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the story. What a wonderful classic Christmas tale. I can remember hearing that so, so long ago. That exact version, actually the book, I could remember reading it and hearing it. And there was a recording that I had of that story on a tape. And I was trying to find that version because I, I can remember it so vividly, but I've never been able to find it again. And uh, unfortunately, that tape is not longer around. But I wanted to do something a little special here for this holiday season. Here for this holiday season. And. 
here for this holiday season for the whole family. I will be having some kind of a classic harder show uh, Christmas horror story because, again, that is tradition here on the harder show. But maybe we're starting new traditions as well with a little something. That's a little bit more of a, a fun, positive twist on Christmas here on the harder show because I do really love Christmas and I know a lot of other people do as well. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I, of course, would be remiss if I did not take a second to give a humongous shout out to the people who have helped make this year so special for this podcast and for myself. My Patreons, my patrons, the Hodheads. We have Mr. Scott Duquette, Ronan Kamori of Baseline Feed, Tanner Wood of Baseline Feed, Eric Phones, Arthur Ankh, Mike Quintero of Shutter Radio, C.M. Peters of Baseline Feed, Jason Reese of Jaber Digital Arts, Kelly Sisson, Terry and Janet Hodder, Brandon Bowden of Bowden Voice, and last but not least, Neil Skarupa. Thank you so very much to all of my Patreon family for their support this year and for really helping to make this Christmas extra special here on The Harder Show. I appreciate you all very much, and I appreciate you for listening and still listening. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to share it with everybody. I really appreciate it, and hopefully we can maybe spread a little uh, a little Christmas joy and have some fun. And for those who tuned in thinking this was going to be some kind of an odd uh, horror take or something on the classic Twas the Night Before Christmas... Stay tuned, because I've got something coming for you. Don't you worry. And with that, I'm going to sign off here today. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful holiday season and Merry Christmas. And I will catch you next time on The Hotter Show. Take it easy, guys.